Another one of my daily routines is singing the months of the year song. We do our calendar every day. And then when we talk about what month it is currently, we come over to the months of the year board. We sing our song and then we clap when the month that we're currently in comes up in the song. For example, we are in the, currently in the month of January. So when we begin our song, all of the kids will clap in January. We'll sing the rest of the song all the way through. Now, when we celebrate the end of January and the beginning of February, the students will clap when February is introduced in the song. So let me sing that song for you. It would go like this. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Now, the repetition of that song helps them with the concept of time. They know that after January is always going to come February. After February is always March. I catch my kids singing this song on their own all the time. And what's neat is that they do clap on the right month that it currently is. Another great thing about having the months of the year posted and singing it daily is that on the apples or any way that you'd like to display them, I have the children's birthdays. So it's never that nagging of, when's my birthday, when's my birthday? They can come to the calendar, find their name, and know exactly what month their birthday is in, and then look forward to that celebration. Again, the concept of time is something that is taught over time, and they will understand it more and more the more repetition you have daily. Thank you.